There are no new messages at this time. Is there anything I can help you with, Joseph? No, thank you. Look at Penta. <laughs> You're sleepy. I love you so much. She's just so beautiful. Wow, yeah. She's very beautiful. Just like a mom. Aww. Mm. <laughs> I can watch her all day. Yeah. <laughs> you too. You promise? Promise. I love you. I love you. We love you too. We love you, Eden. Dr. Graysmith is requesting video correspondence. Do you wish to accept? <clears throat> yes, please. Good morning, Mr. Tanaka. Good morning, Dr. Graysmith. How are you? Doing well. How are you? Adjusting. It is a lot to process, but I recommend taking it slow as you adapt to all the changes. I'm here to make sure the rehabilitation goes as smoothly as possible. I'm looking at your latest readout. Um, it seems like you're not sleeping well. I've had a lot on my mind. I notice you've been accessing your memories quite often. Um, particularly of your wife and daughter. You can monitor all that? Everyone is connected via Nexus. Guess that takes the fun out of being a psychiatrist. It's just a precaution at this time, until you're able to readjust. How about you let me worry about what's going on in my mind? Fair enough, but... I can't help you if you're not willing to talk. Why don't you tell me about your wife? There's not much to say other than I miss her. Sarah was a kind person. She was the type of person that always put others before herself. My wife meant everything to me. I woke up to that feeling knowing all over again. She wasn't going to be here. And your daughter? <sighs> she was our world. 
when I held her for the first time. I never wanted to let go. Someone we'd always protect. Has she contacted you yet? Perhaps making the choice to let go may help her in her decision to reintroduce you into her life. Give her time to decide. Mr. Tanaka, you have to live your life as well. Dr. Gray Smith, I want to speak with him. I'm glad to inform you that at this time your daughter has agreed to speak with you in the Nexus. Are you ready to speak to her? I'm ready. I'll establish the link. Good luck, Joseph. Eden? Is that really you? <sighs> Sorry. I should have been in contact sooner. No. I'm the one that should be apologizing for making you wait so long. Did you know? It wasn't supposed to turn out like this. The doctor said it would only take two years until the cure was finalized. In order to stop the Harper disease from spending any further within my body, going into cryo was the only chance I had for survival. I wouldn't have said yes if I had known 30 years would pass. And I think to myself, would I have been a good father? You know, funny thing is back then, I always wondered what kind of adult you would be like in the future. Rather return to the past and see how you grew up. Before your mother passed away, I made her a promise that I'd always take care of you no matter what. In the end, you grew up without your real parents being able to raise you. Sorry we weren't there for you. For the longest time, I was mad at you. I felt alone, not being able to have you both in my life. Even though my adoptive parents loved me, something always felt like it was missing. 
All I had were video logs and photos of you two. But it wasn't enough. I wanted to know more about where I came from, who you two were, why you had to leave me. I had so many questions. It wasn't until much later after discovering the truth that I was able to understand. After they told me you were awake from cryostasis, I couldn't believe it. I didn't want to see you right away. Because I was afraid. Afraid of the feeling of being abandoned again. You don't have to be afraid ever again, Eden. I'm not gonna leave. I don't want to just see your life through only a device. As your father, I want to be there for you personally through all the good times, bad times, any time that you need me. I want to experience life and create memories with my daughter in the real world. 